Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to bring you one Kathy Wood stock that's down 41% off the high that I think makes an excellent purchase right now for growth stock investors looking for a high risk and high return investment. This stock I had recently rated as a hold. I'm only today upgrading the stock to a buy because of the phenomenal progress I've seen this company make over the recent years the excellent prospects it has over the next few years, and a very reasonable valuation. So let me share with you what this growth stock is and all the reasons why I'm recommending it as a buy today. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, the growth stock that I'm talking about today is DraftKings, a top 10 holding in Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Portfolios. DraftKings has been one company that I've been following for several years that I've had on a hold rating for a while now, and I'm upgrading it to a buy today. So you're gonna wanna tune in to see what are the reasons why I'm upgrading this stock to a buy after all this time being rated as a hold. And it starts with the excellent prospects for the next few years. Now, for 2024 specifically, the company's guidance on November 2nd for 2024 was for $4.5 billion to $4.8 billion in revenue and adjusted EBITDA of $350 million to $450 million. That being said, the excellent performance across their core value drivers in the fourth quarter of 2023 and continued momentum during the first six weeks of 2024 forced them to upgrade their guidance to 4.65 billion and 4.9 billion so a range of 4.65 to 4.9 so upgrading the bottom end of their range by roughly 150 million and the top end of their range by 100 million and then their adjusted EBITDA guidance to a range of 410 million to 4 to 510 million at a midpoint of 460 million. That midpoint is higher than the higher end of their previous forecast, right? So their guidance at the midpoint of adjusted EBITDA increased by 60 million from their previous forecast from 400 to 460 million at the midpoint. That's roughly 15% improved expectations for adjusted EBITDA in 2024 for DraftKings. That's just in the last few months, they've seen their progress uh, increase so well that they had to upgrade their guidance. Additionally, they expect their sales and marketing expense to decline modestly in fiscal year 2024. This sales and marketing expense was the primary reason I had DraftKings stock rated as a hold for so long and not rated as a buy because the company was spending so much money on sales and marketing. I was skeptical if they could still generate revenue growth when they pulled back those increases in sales and marketing. I was skeptical of that. But in the most recently completed year, they proved to me that they can keep sales and marketing costs under control while increasing revenue considerably. So that change was a big factor in me upgrading my guidance for DraftKings as well. So they also expect to generate between 310 million and 410 million in free cash flow in 2024. That's a big improvement for a company that had been burning through hundreds of millions of dollars of capital every year. So th this is based on spending 120 million of capital expenditure on software development cost, as well as a modest source of cash from changes in networking capital and interest income. So they're still gonna spend over $100 million on software, and even after that, they're gonna generate 360 million at the midpoint in free cash flow. That's a big turnaround, again, for a company that had been losing so much money in cash flow from operations for several years. They continue their advancement in entering new markets DraftKings expects to launch its sportsbook product in North Carolina on March 11th so as of this recording they've already launched their product in North Carolina and this does not include the impact of a recent proposed acquisition of Jackpocket 
when that acquisition goes through or if that acquisition goes through that will be additive to the company's revenue although it might be a little bit hurtful to the company's profitability the company is acquiring customers at an increasingly efficient manner as they transition to a higher mix of national marketing and they see reduction in payback periods. In 2023, their customer acquisition costs decreased by 27% compared to 2022, following a 21% improvement in 2022 from 2021. So they're seeing an improvement at an accelerating rate. The customer acquisition costs declined by 22% in 2022, and then 27% in 2023 an increasing rate of improvement i love to see that they're also retaining customers very well so well in fact that it seems a bit unrealistic to me that they can sustain this longer term annual year over year customer retention has been 90 percent for customer that that engaged with them for in the 12 months following their acquisition quarter while their average annual retention rate has been 87 percent over a five-year period that's unrealistically high if you ask me these are rates that are comparable to costco costco has a 90 roughly 90 percent customer retention rate i don't think DraftKings is going to sustain a customer like customer retention rate a costco like i should say customer retention rate in the long run i think these numbers are unrealistically high for now but they are a good sign that DraftKings in this industry is proving themselves to be the better options. Customers are looking around and they're saying, look, out of all of these sports books, we like DraftKings the best. And even though these numbers are likely to decrease over time, it's still a good sign that they're retaining these customers at these high levels in the near term. So they, these outstanding trends and state-level economics give them confidence that they're on track to generate $6.2 billion of revenue and $1.4 billion of adjusted EBITDA in 2026, and then $7.1 billion in revenue and $2.1 billion of adjusted EBITDA in 2028 from their existing states alone. And this isn't even including any new states being added, which they are very likely to add new states over the next few years, and then the proposed acquisition of Jackpocket as well. So these are excellent forecasts for DraftKings over the next few years. And the free cash flow forecast is also phenomenal for the next several years. So these upside guidance in recent quarters and proving to me that they can scale revenue without increasing sales and marketing expense. And finally, let me share with you the last reason. The valuation is now attractive at a forward price to earnings of 33.36. Given the improvements, now the stock price lately has been moving higher even though i mentioned it's down 41 percent off the high you can see from the bottom in 2023 its stock price has been moving higher it's still 41 percent down off its high but even though the price has been moving higher the valuation has gotten lower since 2023 that's an interesting distinction to make because the market price is increasing but the stock is getting cheaper now that might sound counterintuitive to you but the reason for that is because their profitability forecasts their profitability is increasing by a faster rate than the stock price is increasing and that's why DraftKings stock is more attractive to me now because their profitability their cash flow is increasing at a faster rate than their stock price has increased in the last year plus they've made significant strategic advances in the last year that I can now say DraftKings stock is an excellent growth stock to buy for investors, keep in mind, that are understanding that this is a high-risk, high-return investment. It's not for those investors who are not looking to take an elevated level of risk. This is a riskier-than-average stock in DraftKings. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.